guys, I am in Serbia, my 46th country. Oh, today is a beautiful day. I decided to go out. I'm not that sick anymore. 46th country. Today, I'm going to be exploring places that are for free because I'm on a solo travel again. And I know you guys missed it. So excited to be exploring new countries this year on my own, filming good stuff for you guys. I'm back. I'm loving it. Is back. Today is a beautiful day. I am here in Belgrade Fortress. This is my first stop. I think it's already 6 in the evening. And right now I'm looking at Danube River, which the last time I've seen was in Hungary, in Budapest. If you guys don't know, I went to Hungary last winter. This winter, actually. Uh, that is the view. Today is a Sunday, so it's a little bit busy. But the best part about the Belgrade Fortress is that it's open every day, plus it's free. So yeah, great things, great times ahead. I arrived here the other day, and for those of you who might not know that it is visa-free for Philippine passport holders if you have a multiple entry Shenzhen visa and you're allowed to stay here for I think 60 to 90 days. Okay, this is my first country in the Balkans. So excited. Wow, what a view. One thing that I don't like about solo traveling, I'm gonna be honest, is that no one can take photos of me. So I'm gonna ask strangers later on if they can take photos of me. For the gram, I'm wearing a cap because the, the sun is pretty harsh right now. Chilling here at Park Kalamegdan. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but there is an ongoing burger festival right now, which is to me, I've never heard of such a thing before, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna try out some burgers later on. I just hope they accept cards because I don't have cash. I forgot to withdraw some money at the airport. Yeah, this is the view. There's a lot of bench that you can sit on and it's for free. And the best thing about this park is as well is that it's free to go here. It's a nice view here and I think later, if we're lucky, we'll be able to see a beautiful sunset. I think the sun sets at 7 or 8 p.m. here. I'm happy. I'm happy to be in a new country, being able to get, go out. It's the outfit, by the way. It's very hot right now. Save also a lot of money by bringing my own water, bottled water. There will be a lot of walking involved, so we'll never get thirsty here. <laughs> okay, welcome to Serbia! Serbia is like a dog. To be honest. I feel like I'm in Fort Santiago in the Philippines, in Intramuros, giving me the vibe. I just wish there's more details on what this place was. I'm pretty sure it's a fortress too for the war with the Austrians, I believe so. Look at this. The walls are still intact. This it's so cool that you have like some coffee shops around the area. Sometimes I like to stay closer to the group tours because I can hear some information for free. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one who does that. Comment below if you guys do it too. I just overheard that Belgrade in English means white city. Bell being white, grade and being the city. Wow, look at this view. strangers to take photos of me and I must say that they're they're actually getting pretty good. The last time I went solo traveling which was like three years ago, they're not as good but now they're starting to know the angles, most of them I would say so. So hot. Getting a little hungry. I think it's 6 30 in the evening now. I'm gonna go find myself some snacks. I am now walking at the city center. Yeah, this is like the 
home for the richest people in Serbia, in Belgrade. Now I am walking in Mesnihalovia shopping street. They said that this is where you can find a lot of uh, expensive things as well. Nice place to go shopping. It's a good restaurant. I am going home. I'm walking in the street filled with a lot of talented artists. You can buy paintings or you can also have yourself paint here. Only I have a house. <laughs> Now at Republic Square, I'm pretty close to where I live. Getting pretty nice and not chilly, but the weather is getting better. This is the Republic Square. I think everyone needs to go here when you go to Belgrade. I think this is one of the places that you must see or go to when you're here in Belgrade, Serbia. This is a very busy and popular city square. I think also because it's a Sunday, most people are out enjoying the beautiful weather. We're very close to summertime. Can't wait to experience summer in Europe again. I haven't had this in a while. Yeah, that's the city square. Public Square of Belgrade. We are going to Skadar Lija or the Bohemian Quarter. That's where I'm living by the way. That's the best part about living exactly in the city center. You can easily walk around and do things for free <laughs> without even having to ride any transportation. There is an ex pedestrian lane here which is already lit. <laughs> One thing that you need to know when you're traveling in Serbia is that you always have to have cash with you because not a lot of stores have credit card options. So long story short, don't be like Ave, bring cash with you. So I'm actually here during springtime. That's why there's a lot of like calling see a lot of alfresco restaurants I really love the graffitis here I think that's what made this area awesome because you can just literally see graffitis everywhere everywhere you look <laughs> I'm almost close to my Airbnb let's go in Skardalija Gothic Quarter is where you can find unique restaurants and they said that there's like live bands here that's why my Airbnb is literally in front of this place that's why I've been hearing a lot of like good music, live music and uh, yeah this place is very popular Hello! Okay, so I moved to a different Airbnb because the Airbnb that I had was fully occupied for another week so I decided to just move to another one for I think this is the, I'll be here for I think five days. I'll give you guys a quick tour and I paid $100 per day here. Now, this is the only option that had Wi-Fi, kitchen, and washer. For me, that's very important because I cook a lot of my meals. I save a lot of money by cooking instead of eating out. I know a lot of you guys say that, oh, you're in vacation, you should try Serbian food. I'm not gonna do that in this vlog, unfortunately, because I'm saving money for summer. I'll be doing a lot of solo traveling this summer and yeah, I'm saving up for that. So that's a good news. Yeah, as you all know, in every travel vlog, there is always a new tour. Eight, 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 eight. So upon entering, we have this fully equipped kitchen. It has an oven, a dishwasher, a microwave, a stove, everything that you need when you're at home. So this is like my home away from home. The refrigerator is somewhere over there. This is the living room and dining area. There you go. Oh, look at that, a world map. Today I'll be able to travel the entire world one day claiming it i'm not so sure if there's netflix gonna figure that out there's a flat screen tv there is wi-fi very important because i will be doing a lot of editings this week i promise you guys right over here is the hallway to the bedroom so this is bedroom number one it can fit like two people my stuff i decided to make this as a 
walk-in closet which I'm not so sure if I even have to pull out some of my stuff I live in one suitcase and a hand carry and a handbag so these are all of my stuff until next year I don't know if I mentioned but I did a lot of thrifting before I left the Philippines so I thrifted most of these stuff from tofu store and skinniest jeans if you guys want to check them out they're from the Philippines I'll put the link below it ranges from like five dollars to twenty so it's very affordable let me show you the bedroom number two which my bedroom I think it's a queen size bed or a double bed sometimes I still don't know what a double bed and a queen size bed difference is so yeah they only gave me one pillow I'm so sad <laughs> I love pillows so sometimes if the Airbnb has a lot of pillows I automatically give five star and if they also have a bidet so this is my bedroom for the next six days bathroom this is the bathroom it has a washer. I do also save a lot of money when there's when there's a washer in an Airbnb. These are my stuff. Yeah, hot and cold shower. Not gonna lie, it kind of stinks here. I think it's the pipe or something, so that's not good. Okay, so that ends my quick Airbnb in Serbia tour. I'm gonna go out and buy some groceries because I want to just stay in and relax because today has been you know moving day and a lot of things happen it's also been raining so i don't want to show to you guys the city when it's raining and in gloomy so hopefully tomorrow the weather will be better it's now i think three in the afternoon i haven't eaten anything today except for that blueberry muffin that i ordered this for breakfast yeah come along to the grocery with me What I usually do whenever I travel abroad is I download the Google Maps app and usually it's, I heavily rely on Google Maps on like things to do and recommendations. So right now I'm using Google Maps to reach my destination even if I don't have Wi-Fi. See there's a lot of metros here. For me I don't need metros because I specifically booked an Airbnb that is right in the city center so I don't have to take public transportation. That's also one of the tips that I highly recommend when you're traveling alone. One thing that I also do as a solo female traveler is dressing up like this. Dressing up as someone who doesn't have that much, which is true. <laughs> Totoo naman. So that you're less prone to getting harassed or getting pickpocketed because they see you as someone who doesn't have that much. Ooh, pretty. But then again, that's just me. Of course, you always have to stay vigilant. And I rarely go out at night. When I met friends that I trust, that's the only time that I go out at night. But if not, I don't need to party anymore. Okay, so that 
is where I'm going. It's called National Assembly. It's a nice day today. It was pretty gloomy earlier and I'm happy that I was able to go out again. I have arrived. That was easy. It was only like a five, six minute walk from my Airbnb. Best part is that I don't have to take any travel. So this is the National Assembly of Serbia. It's closed right now, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get in, but it's nice to take photos outside, so that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll ask. Uh, excuse me, can you take a photo of me? Mission accomplished. Got my photo. <laughs> okay, so now I am walking to my second stop for the day. I'm going to a church called an unorthodox church. Take nice photos. By the way, it's already 6 in the evening, summertime in Serbia. Orthodox Church. I don't know if I've been to an Orthodox Church before, but we'll see how it goes. It smells so good in here for some reason. It smells like a uh, funeral bouquet flowers, you know, pampatay. But I don't know why it's giving me that. It's giving me. So let's go in. Let's see what's inside. Welcome to Belgrade. There's a couple of uh, people in groups asking for photos. I've seen a ceiling that high. Oh yeah, except the one in Vatican. I forgot. Oh, sorry. I'm lying. And I'm inside the church. Sorry, Lord. That's it. It's for free. Okay, maybe I still have time to check out another one, another spot. It's a beautiful park right beside St. Mark's Church. I think I'll be walking 5 to 10 minutes to my next stop. The sad part is that I don't have internet. So I'm just winging everything on what I downloaded on Google Maps. So, wish me luck. I haven't done this in a while alone, but I must say, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so I am trying to find the Nikola Tesla Museum. Google Maps says I'm correct or he's correct or I'm wrong and he's correct or he's wrong. I'm correct. I don't know. Um, <laughs> find it and some of the read signs are in Serbian so it's also difficult to read and know where I am right now. But I'm guessing I am in a like in a community now. I also noticed that in this neighborhood, there are more posh people and expensive cars. So maybe I am in an expensive neighborhood. Maybe that's why it's super quiet in here. I think I'm here. This is the Nikola Tesla Museum and I'm not sure how much the entrance fee is. I just want to have a photo and video in front of it. So it's open on Tuesdays to Sundays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So unfortunately, they are already closed. I'm closed? <laughs> no? No? Those who don't know who Nikola Tesla is, he is um, a Serbian-American engineer, inventor, and he was born in Smiljan Lika, the village of Smiljan near Gosti, which is now Croatia. He invented a lot of things, mostly of what we invented a lot of things which we are now using today. And I'm gonna take a selfie with you. Let's go. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to go inside the museum, but the security guard, oh nice, he's like, come here. 
it's gonna be fun. Well, you know, it's nice to learn something new every day. Also nice to know who invented the things that we have been using until to this day. So yeah, Nikola Tesla. in my airbnb and i should say today had been a nice exercise for me those are my type of exercises like walking not running or wrist walking swimming sometimes surfing if i feel like it things that basically doesn't feel like i'm working out but i'm actually working out i'm gonna look how many steps i had today and it's 9,000 total steps which is pretty good that's good i like walking i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far as i am enjoying myself being on my own being feeling independent I'm back on the groove. It's it was difficult, not gonna lie. Going back to the groove of vlogging again and balancing work activities and spending and taking care of my mental health and spending time with my friends and family was overwhelming. But now I'm back. That's why I'm here. Also, I'll be needing to buy some things like a face mask because my face has been super dry. In Google Maps, said they have Sephora here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, that's the only thing that I will buy. They said this is the most beautiful Orthodox Church in Belgrade. Not so sure if we'll be able to go in because it's under construction, but maybe there's, a, there's an open door we can check out. under renovation right now so some parts are you know covered but wow it's so beautiful church i've never been in an orthodox church and i'm happy that i get to see two of them here in belgrade serbia on Google Maps that there's a stair that leads to a zona spot. I don't know what it's called, but let's go down. I don't know. It's called Zona Spot. I don't know where it is still, but I think, I think I'm right. <laughs> I'm whispering because it's very loud and I can't figure Nice 
nice way to end my Belgrade trip. My first solo trip after two years. I've been walking, I think, for 30 minutes now. I think I'm just gonna go home and cook myself some dinner instead. Also to save up some money because I do have some ingredients, I think. I'll be leaving tomorrow so I don't wanna spend too much for my next country. I'm excited, it's going to be my 47th one. I'm aiming for 50 countries. Hopefully this summer, let's go have it. That's the building of my Airbnb right in the heart of the city center so I'm very lucky that I got this even if it's on the pricier side but at least I get to walk around easily without any hassle I'm back at the shopping street I'm not gonna go shopping but I just wanna show you to you this time you guys a really quick recipe that I love to do when on my own. It's very healthy and nutritious. So right now I am boiling two eggs. I think it's already done. Right, as I'm waiting for my quinoa to finish, I already washed some salad. I bought these ready made carrots. These are perfect for salad. Already been julienned. I also got some fish. Salmon. I also got some salmon today that are ready to be eaten. Already put salt and pepper. Roll the lemon this much. Okay, it's just strips. And then I'm gonna put the salmon. And so that's when we put the salmon. Salmon strips, two eggs. Perfect! Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. I think 10 minute salad bowl by Ava Lavinette. Very easy, especially when you're lazy, but also healthy. You can also use rice as an alternative if you don't want quinoa. So yeah, that's my dinner. I'm almost done. I'm so full. <laughs> I'm back and um, I will be vlogging more. Okay, I think I'm gonna shower and go to sleep and tomorrow.